what's up my beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's lizzie atkins here as always thank you all for staying with me on my beautiful journey and to my new viewers who just chosen today's video join the family go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn that red into gray you know you wanna you know you wanna so today guys i will be talking about the cost of living nigeria versus the uk do not forget to subscribe so living costs renting renting properties in the uk versus in nigeria so first of all in the uk you'd have to go through an agency or private landlord okay so that comes as a separate cost with an agency you would have to if there was an agency looking for the property for you or is managing the property in particular that you're interested in you'd have to pay agency fee um and then some other cost that comes with it i can't remember everything but some other cost that comes with it but i know definitely you have to register with the agency and pay an agency fee for them to be able to look for a property of your choice for you and private landlords you just go online the different sites for that and then you find a property you like you call the landlord boom bam bam arrange viewing look at the price and you're good with Niger on the other side you can either if you're maybe if you're walking around and you see a property they just building and all you can either just go straight and talk to the people who are working them there and then they give you the contact to be able to get the property or you can go through a property I don't want to say agents like yeah let, let's just say property agents so do not forget to subscribe for like the proper luxurious apartments and buildings I think now they've got agencies for those but I'm not too sure to not quote my words just what I see on Instagram okay that's one two the rent so for the rent over here in the UK be agency be private landlord you're paying monthly you pay a monthly cost a fixed monthly cost but with agency it is more likely to change over the years so the price is more likely to increase the, more, the longer you stay it might increase and that's different agencies i'm not don't quote me it's not all agencies some agencies have fixed price for the whole year and some agencies fixed price for the year and get, they get reviewed yearly in nigeria you pay the whole year so you pay yearly the rent is yearly okay so you pay yearly here in the UK you pay by bank transfer in Nigeria cash in hand your landlord come knocking at your door your rent is due you pay him bus okay <laughs> and then you also rent in the UK you pay bills okay so like I, that's why I'm mentioning agency private if it's an agency you pay the bills that's separate from your rent so you pay your rent and then you have to pay your bills that's your water council tax electricity gas that's it and then if it's private everything comes together so all inclusive they use the word all inclusive so your rent includes all of that bill covered for you in Nigeria, your rent is just your rent that covers everything. Nepa, but then only God knows Nepa doesn't really even give you <laughs> Nepa doesn't even really give you lights like that. But the rent comes with everything. You don't pay water bill in Nigeria. You do not pay council tax. You do not pay for gas or electricity. That's all under the rent. In the UK. What you get the price what you get for the price here is not worth it it's literally you get a box room for starting price that's a studio flat 
a starting price is literally 550 for a studio flat and the studio flat is one single bed and everything is inside like your kitchen utensils your bathroom your own bathroom your own toilet everything is inside and that's the starting price and that's all inclusive for a uh, private landed now if you were to go for an agency a starting price would be like 800 pound and you'd have to pay everything else yourself in nigeria you can get a property i know someone who is living in a property a one bedroom their own one bedroom house or one bedroom flat let me say in a house because the whole house is shared but one bedroom flat for a hundred thousand naira a year so he's paying a hundred thousand naira a year for that property compared to the uk that's like compared that to the uk that's more than that's even less than what we pay here monthly and they don't pay bills okay so i think that is all do not forget to subscribe that's my comparison of renting in the uk versus renting in nigeria if you want us to do the calculation the breakdown the real tea the real amount the real cost let me know in the comment down below if you enjoyed today's video which i know you have do not forget to give it a massive thumbs up share with everyone and anyone who might need this information hit that subscribe button turn that red into gray and most importantly hit that notification bell so you can always get a notification every time i lizzie atkins upload new content for now remain blessed my jiggers my ogs remain blessed and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.